Well, nothing was going to stand in the way of a gravely ill Jeff Fennick seeing his daughter Jessica get married, so she brought the wedding to him with a surprise hospital room ceremony. Well, then Jeff went one better and our cameras were there. From the boxing ring to the emergency department, Jeff Fennick is a formidable fighter. But what we've rarely seen is the soft side to this devoted father and family man. As we all it, enjoy yourself and have a nice, amazing night. Hope you, Jessica. Hope you give me one. And now you can kiss her back. Tonight, the secret bedside vows that brought the boxing champion undone. His determination to get home to Australia for his daughter's big day, oh. one week after open heart surgery. And the frantic race to get the father of the bride to the church in time. Got some pretty bad news. Got an infected valve um, that's connected to my heart. I'll try to wear, uh, get rid of the infection and then I'll have to have surgery. Bed bound in a Bangkok hospital, the triple world champion has never looked so defeated. I feel really bad towards Jack and the rest of the team. The 55 year old was rushed to intensive care earlier this month after coughing up blood at a Thai boxing camp. This is day three of our camp. The young men he'd been mentoring now credited with saving his life. What do you think would have happened if they hadn't forced you into that ambulance? There'd be no interview. Pretty, I'm pretty lucky that my yeah, it friends was, cared. It was touch and go, they said. If the boys didn't react on the Friday and they would have got, gone into his room on the Saturday, the doctor said you would not have found him alive. So You was, were that close to death? Yeah, it was pretty fatal. It was, like, awful. After a delicate five-hour operation to replace an infected heart valve, the Marrickville Mauler was soon showing his trademark tenacity. You were pushing yourself. Oh yeah, I was. I was lying to them because they were asking me, "Am yeah, are you tired?" I said, "Nah, I'm not tired. I feel great." The Fennick family was by his side in Thailand, including his eldest daughter Jessica, who was due to marry in Sydney ten days after the operation. Whose idea? was it to have a surprise wedding in the Jessica's. hospital? Jessica's. She said, um, Mum, I was on the plane, I couldn't sleep, and I was thinking, I can't get married without having Dad witness me getting married first. So, and I thought, oh. So we had to go look for dresses and everything. He didn't know. Walked down the hospital aisle by her mother, Susie, to her father's favourite song, Jessie. The emotional bride surprised her dad with a ceremony in intensive care. A white wedding with all the trimmings, as Jessie and her groom Carmelo join hands with Jeff to take their vows. And now you can choose the bride. Jessie, you can always sell any dream to me. After cutting the cake, a gift to her ailing father, a collection of their precious memories. I've always been a baby girl. You were the first one I loved. First man I loved. You were in tears, yeah. almost a flood of tears. I was in more tears, but um, like I said, for them to, to think of me, uh, it was pretty special. When I seen both of them leave, I, I thought to myself, wow. You know, and in a way, I kind of thought I, I was letting them down. And um, I thought I had to do my best to get there. You don't take no for an answer, do you? Uh, I don't think he was going to miss this wedding, walking her down the aisle. She was heartbroken, devastated. Her world had fallen apart, so it was really hard when they walked into the room and saw him the way he was before the operation. Look, I was really proud that they'd done that for me. So it just um, made me want to fight even harder to get back to Australia for them. Against all odds and advice, Jeff took a red-eye flight touching down in Sydney on Saturday morning. Yeah, everything was great. Everything was great. I'm just I'm happy to be home. And I'm happy to, happy to be alive, to be honest. And wheeled straight onto a stretcher. I just think that's going to be really emotional, so that's going to be really hard for me. Yeah. Because um, obviously she doesn't know I'm here, so... Um, I, mean, I, I spoke to her this morning, telling her to have a beautiful day and enjoy herself. 
He wasn't going anywhere without a hospital assessment. It was five hours before Jesse was due to say, I do. Welcome home. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you very much for your support. Discharged with an hour to spare. You look remarkably well for someone who's just had open heart oh, surgery. I haven't slept. Um, do you want to see? Yeah, yeah. Uh, How's it feeling? Um, Oof. Yeah. You're right? Yeah. Gee, um, it's, a, it's a pretty neat scar. Yeah, I can't believe But then they took um, four huge tubes out of there, a tube out of my neck. How's it feeling? Is it sore? Um, it, it, when I cough, it's really, really sore. Mm. So I try to do my best to keep as warm as I can and, and do mm. everything right. Mm. Well, should we get you suited up? Let's do it. Jeff has shed several kilos since Vince first tailored this suit, but thankfully it still fits. And he puts his own twist on the tux because the medication has made his hair fall out. My hair is now. Before we head out on a sparkling Sydney day, a pep talk from good mate and fellow boxer Mark Lewis. You look great, mate. Jess is going to love this. This is so cool, mate. What a surprise. Thank you, mate. How do you think she'll react when she sees you? I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know, it's something that it's, I don't know, it's supposed to be joyous and happy, but I think we're both going to be pretty um, emotional. This is not how the father of three had imagined arriving at his first daughter's wedding, but he couldn't be happier to have made it at all. Well, you're well and truly the first one here. Mm. <laughs> Good effort. After a few quiet minutes hiding behind St Mary's Cathedral, The official party makes a loud entrance. Our secret guest keeping up the surprise. We miss Jeff. We miss Dad. We Dad, love you should be here. Love it's you, not going to be the same love without you. Jeff. you. We love you. We're going through another entrance. There's too much paparazzi up there. And here comes the unsuspecting bride. Of course, your dad's going to walk it down here. <laughs> Jesse, in a knockout gown, is lost for words and fighting back tears. Hi, so Jesse, how are you feeling? Good. You look gorgeous. Did you have any idea? Any idea he was here? No clue. And then the sweetest victory of Jeff Fennick's life escorting his little girl down the aisle in front of 300 stunned guests. Carmelo, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mr and Mrs Woodgear. She looked amazing, sir. She's beautiful, yeah, huh? Yeah. Your little girl's married. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you glad you were here to see it? 100 million percent. How does this compare to all the other highs in your life? Uh, nothing compares to this. Best day of your life? Uh, by far. It's the morning after the night before and Susie is once again by Jeff's side in hospital. Physically, how are you feeling? Today, um, I'm feeling better and I always feel better when Susie's with me, so... I feel good today. So in a sense it was harder for you, Susie. It was scary. I'm thinking of oh, is he gonna make it? Like it was it was terrifying. You thought you might lose him. Yeah. I was ready I was ready for the fight and again um, it's not over yet. Mm. Just, just just hope that um I just keep getting better and I and I win this fight as well. The living legend is through the worst, back home with a smile on yeah. his face. Yeah, it, it was an amazing feeling when I held her hand and I looked at her and I could see that she was trying so hard not to cry, obviously. She had a million dollars with her makeup on, so... <laughs> so, but no, it made me feel very, very special. And she was lost for words. Yeah. Well, yeah, she... She was Again, she didn't want to speak because she knows if she would have spoke... She all that beautiful down. makeup would have been all over her dress and so on, but... But, yeah, she, I think she handled it better than anybody, and I'm, I'm very, very proud of her. Susie, could anyone else have pulled this off? I don't think so. No, not like he can. He, he was amazing. The strongest person I know. Even after the toughest round of his life, Jeff Fennick says he'll be back in the ring as soon as he can. This new valve hopefully 
I say in the last 20, 25 years, I want to make sure that I'm here when they ask me to replace it again. Yeah, I want to be my wife forever. Mm. Uh, to the whole of Australia, to, to the world who have supported me and sent my wife all messages, um, I love you all. What a champ. Jessica and Carmelo are about to head off to Mexico for their honeymoon and nothing will hold the Marrickville Mauler back. Jeff hopes to go home from hospital tomorrow but will still have several weeks of intense treatment ahead of him. He's a fighter. We don't need to wish him all the best with his recovery, but we do.